So I have a secret and it's something that's been eating me up every time I think about hacking and I think about upskilling myself and becoming a better hacker. Some of you know I've been studying the PMPT for the last couple of months now and I've smashed through most of the Practical Ethical Hacker course except for one bit. Now it's not a long section and it's not a particularly difficult section but for me it feels like a bit of a mountain. Don't get me wrong I've loved every minute of this course it's been a great course I've learned lots but there's just this one section that's been killing me and I'm talking about this section web exploitation. Every single time that I'd get to this section I'd sit down ready to study at night procrastination distraction took hold. I would go and find more Active Directory hacking to do, saying I need to build up those skills. And then when I finally sit down to do it, I would watch those videos and be like, but I was tired, tired of getting pushed around, tired of being bullied. I said no more. We will face this mountain. No more looking at a web app and crapping my pants. No more blank stare, asking myself, is this input field an injection point? No more confusion over what the hell an XSS attack is and why should I care? And no more avoiding the challenges that have a web component to them. I said no more. So for the last month, I put the PMPT aside and spent all of my spare time looking at web app pen testing and looking at what I needed to learn to become a web app pen tester or at least build up those skills. And there's a few things that I learned along that journey that I think would encourage you along your journey of facing things that are difficult to learn. Now, I know this might come as a surprise to you, but I'm not as stupid as, as I look. Maybe I might be. I need to ask someone about that. Web apps really intimidate me because they're just so vast. There's just so many different attacks. There's so many different variables. It's not like you go to an Active Directory machine and you know that there are these particular vulnerabilities or services that you can abuse. Web apps are a big enigma to me and they make me feel like I don't know enough ever. But the truth is learning the basics of web development, protocols, security are just kind of enough to get you going. And something that I didn't realize was that I hadn't really been educated enough in those basics. I hadn't looked at the basics enough to kind of get a good handle on them to be able to then learn the exploitation. And that kind of showed me that I'm not actually stupid like I thought I was. I just hadn't learned the thing yet. If you're stuck on learning some sort of exploit vulnerability thing that you're doing, some sort of attack, maybe go back to some of the basics. Maybe look at some basic things like W3 schools, those kind of resources and see maybe if there's anything that may be missing in your foundational knowledge. And trust me, you will get it eventually. There will come a point where everything kind of clicks and you go, I understand, I get it. It makes sense to my brain. And this leads me to the next thing that I learned, which is things take time to learn. Learning new things takes time. And I know it's obvious, but I need a reminder. You probably need a reminder. Things take time to learn. A lot of the time when you learn something completely new, it takes several times to be able to, one, be exposed to a new technology or a new thing that you're learning, new concepts, and two, for it to like sink in enough that you actually understand it to be able to explain it to someone else. For me, I need to read things a couple of times, watch things a couple of times, look at different resources to kind of get a good picture of what I'm actually learning. And I find that most of the time I need to be exposed to something several times before it actually really sinks in. And I've had lots of practice at that, but this was one area that I hadn't really done that in, web exploitation. I hadn't really sat down to understand SQL and cross-site scripting and other attacks to really get like what I'm actually learning. And luckily for me, a lot of the stuff that I learned during my EJPT is applicable to web app pen testing. A lot of the methodology and a lot of the um, basics around HTTP and different protocols and how to use a proxy, all of those things meant that I had already built a little bit of a foundation to then continue to build upon. And so the time that it took for me to learn those things has been, you know, a year in the making, but now it's paying off. 
learning just takes time. Picking things up to a point where you can understand it just takes time. And the third thing is, is that taking time to learn things that scare you, like web app pen testing scared me, is worth it in the long run. The things that you learn now can be applicable as you go through. So as you face new challenges, things that are just really confusing, concepts that are really hard to understand and grasp, putting in the effort means that you can then be able to do things that you couldn't do before. And even though I was terrified in the past, whenever I saw a challenge that had a web app or a CTF with a web exploitation part, now I can look at those things and say, I think I could do this. I think I know where to look and what to look for. And I have a better understanding of what I'm actually doing. And this was actually proved to me. I sat down, I did a CTF for a local conference and I came second place. And I learned so much from that experience, but also it taught me that the stuff that I'd invested in that month that I'd spent working really hard in understanding web application pen testing really paid off. And so taking time to learn the things that may be daunting and scary are really worth it. So do it. Just do it. I'm glad I got that off my chest with you guys. It's been cathartic. Now, if there's anything that is daunting for you to learn, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. What are you still doing here? Write it down, watch this one. <laughs>